Hi guys, welcome back to another video and it is the final video of my Christmas sort of a couple of weeks and again I'm going gory with this so I've done the whole impaled ball balls on the face kind of thing um, my blood didn't actually go according to plan I managed to get it on my eyelid but there we go these things happen when you work with fake blood anyway if you want to see how I got this look then keep on watching so I've already started with my eyebrows done and I'm taking some liquid latex and very quickly applying this to the area where I want the first bauble. Then I am taking some cotton wool and just popping that in sort of a semi-circle shape. This is just going to secure the um, bauble in place a little bit more when I attach it. And then I'm smoothing the outer edges out with some more liquid latex. I'm also popping a little bit more of that latex in that center piece and then taking a bauble I'm just going to apply that to my face I have cut one side of the bauble just so it sits flat and I've done this to two areas of my face because I'm having two baubles attached then I am taking my regular foundation and I'm just going to apply that over the latex area um, you want to make sure the latex is completely dry before you do this um, otherwise you will smear latex all over your face and then once I've applied that to the area I'm then going to just apply my foundation normally so as you guys I no, I use a mix of foundation and ghost whitener and that's exactly what I'm doing for this look as well. Nothing is changing regarding my face makeup. So I'm using a beauty blender to blend this all out. This is just my normal face makeup. So if you want to see this in a better view, go watch some of my other videos and it will show you in a better way rather than me just rushing through it. So then I am taking this red shade from the MUA Silent Disco Palette and I'm just going to pat that around the bauble areas just to give it more of an irritated look then I'm taking my lime crime black velvet lipstick and just popping it in the gap where the latex was missed and then I'm taking Smithy's Bloody Scab and popping that in that little hole and around the edges where the latex cotton wool mixture joins with the bauble ball, just to give it more of a ripped through the skin look. And I'm also going to put some of this on my finger and just dab it around the wound areas just to give it more of a splattered look. And then I am taking my Smithy's Gel Blood and just creating some really gory drips with this. Um, with me, more gore is better. I love gore. So that's why I'm doing loads of drips. And then I am taking this um, Primark Lip Colour and just applying it to my lips and then that is it so that's it for this video guys please don't forget to give it a thumbs up comment down below share and subscribe all products will be listed down below on how i got the special effects looks with this um so yeah along with all of my social media as usual and i will see you in my next video bye guys